phonedog.com. This, on the other hand, is not Aaron from phonedog.com. This is the HTC Desire with US Cellular. It's the carrier's second Android device, and it's one of a couple others that are going to be on the network by the end of the year. So you notice as I'm scrolling through my home screens, you'll see several different widgets on each one of the screens. And some of my favorites are the uh, little shortcut widgets here that turn things on and off without actually having to dig through the menu. So instead of digging deep down and turning on Bluetooth or pressing the power button to get to airplane mode or digging down deep in the menu, I can just click from here and, for example, you know, click it once and airplane mode turns on about three seconds later. So it's nice to have those widgets on the outside of the device. GPS, as you can see, is turned on. Uh, Bluetooth, I could click that if I wanted to activate Bluetooth. So a couple nice options there. Of course, the weather widget installed. Uh, news widget installed there. So let's go through typical widgets that you've seen on sense-based devices before. Calendar, footprints, friend stream, mail messages, MySpace, if people actually still use MySpace. Uh, people, power control, which you know that one well, for example. But let's have a look at fr uh, friend stream, which you know we've covered before, but... Something new for U.S. Cellular customers, FriendStream is an aggregation tool that aggregates your Facebook comments, your Twitter comments, uh, all kinds of different stuff on that front. So you have two different widget styles. I'm going to do the bigger one just for show and tell purposes. I'm not signed in any social network, so let's get signed in to uh, Facebook. Actually, let's log into Twitter, and I'll do that and be right back. Because I'm logged in now, and I actually logged into Twitter and Facebook, so I haven't seen any Facebook comments thus far, but you can see the Twitter updates, all easy to see in the widget. Scroll down through, hey, there's a Facebook one from Noah. Uh, like us on Facebook, like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash phone dog, be our friend. We like friends, and we're all super friendly, and we want to have you on our page. So Facebook.com slash phone dog, so just so you know that. Facebook.com slash phone dog. Twitter, you know, my Twitter updates, Facebook updates, um, and you can see when I logged into um, uh, FriendStream, it actually auto-logged me into Peep, which is HTC's Twitter client as well. So that's there. If you want to get a more in-depth look, you can click that. You can see all updates. I can type in what's on my mind um, from, you know, I'll say, writing from Desire. And we'll share it. And there it is, writing from Desire on Facebook and writing from Desire on Twitter. It auto-updates to both because I have my Twitter link to my Facebook. Anyway, you can see all updates there, status updates if you want to get into the individuals, photos, there are recent updates there, and then links as well. So, you know, as I've said, or as I said earlier, I like the little um, scroll button, at the, or scroll thing at the bottom, rather, makes it more organized and easy to use. So, I can update from here, and I can use it as a widget, so it's continuously... I'm in my background, and then I can click on that and watch it update the stream. So nice to keep up there. Nice social networking tools. Peep, as I said before, is pre-installed as well. Peep is HTC's Twitter client. You can see Twitter responses there. All tweets, mentions, direct messages, and favorites. So that's loaded up there as well. So some nice social networking tools on the Desire. So, so there you have it, the HTC Desire on US Cellular. It's available now, and it was available as of August 27th, last Friday, for $199.95 after a $70 mail-in rebate. New, new two-year customer agreement, upgrade, all that good stuff. Uh, my impression, I think it's a great device. I think it's the greatest smartphone US Cellular's ever carried. And it's funny because even though the specs are, you know, eight or nine months old, if you think about it, I mean, this really is the brother to the Nexus One, after all. Even though the specs are a little bit uh, older, they're not outdated by any means. It's still a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, which is still very current. Android 2.1, which while you know most devices are going to Froyo, this one will too at some point. 2.1 is still very relevant, and a 5 megapixel camera back. So it's no slouch in the specs department, and it can hold its own against any of the other devices on the market. It's the greatest device U.S. Sailor has ever had. If I was to walk in as a, a U.S. Sailor customer today... If I lived in a coverage area, this would be the device I would get. So, high marks for the HTC Desire. Great device, no lag. Fantastic Android device, and it's nice to see a U.S. carrier pick it up. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com. Be sure to check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash PhoneDog, for exclusive content as we continue in this crazy summer of smartphones. And in the meantime, be sure to follow me on Twitter, PhoneDog underscore era, and I'll be sure to answer any questions, any comments, anything that you have on not only the Desire, but any other device you see. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com. I'm Aaron. Thanks for watching.